the upper end of the femur has a head, a neck, and Gretchen leather trochanters. The head forms about two thirds of a sphere and articulates with the acetabulum of the hip bone to form the hip joint. In the center of the head is a small depression called the fovea capitis for the attachment of the ligament of the head. The neck, which connects the head to the shaft, passes downward, backward and laterally and makes an angle of about 125 degrees with the long axis of the shaft. The sides of this angle can be altered by disease. The greater and lesser trochanters are large eminences situated at the junction of the neck and the shaft. Connecting the two trochanters are the intertrochanteric line anteriorly where the iliofemoral ligament is attached and a prominent intertrochanteric crest posteriorly on which is the quadrate tubercle. The shaft of the femur is smooth and rounded on its anterior surface, but posteriorly it has a ridge called the linea aspera to which are attached muscles and intermuscular septa. The margins of the linea aspera diverge above and below. The medial margin continues below as the medial supracondylar ridge to the adductor tubercle on the medial condyle. The lateral margin becomes continuous below with the lateral supracondylar ridge. On the posterior surface of the shaft below the greater trochanter is the gluteal tuberosity for the attachment of the gluteus maximus muscle. The shaft becomes broader downward toward the distal end and forms a flat triangular area on its posterior surface, called the popliteal surface. The lower end of the femur has lateral and medial condyles, separated posteriorly by the intercondylar notch. The anterior surface of the condyles uh, are joined by an articular surface for the patella. Here it is. The two condyles take part in the formation of the knee joint. Above the condyles are the medial and lateral epicondyles. The adductor tubercle is continuous with the medial epicondyle. Now let's review the main structures again. The head of the femur, the fovea capitis, neck, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, intertrochanteric line, intertrochanteric crest, quadrate tubercle, shaft, gluteal tuberosity, linear aspera, medial supracondylar ridge, adductor tubercle, medial epicondyle, medial condyle, lateral supracondylar ridge, lateral epicondyle, lateral condyle, intercondylar notch, popliteal surface, articular surface for patella.